An update now on a big I-team investigation. A group who investigated vandalism at a fire station says five firefighters should be fired. Cody Holyoaks followed this story from the very start. He joins us live here with the latest on today's development. Cody. Well, Mike Carroll, at the start of this investigation, there were 12 firefighters in the spotlight surrounding what happened at Engine 32. Some retired, some were already let go. So now the seven remaining men now know what punishment they face, and it varies from ending a career to a slap on the wrist. What happened inside this house caused a headache for the Milwaukee Fire Department and led to a massive internal investigation. An MFD source tells us a group of firefighters wrecked the inside of Engine 32 after a staffing shakeup at the house last fall. We spotted crews hauling damaged goods to the dumpster. Our source tells us some of the men even soiled equipment with bodily fluids. From a pool of 12 firefighters, a panel of investigators recommended five of them be fired. Two will walk away with a five-day suspension. Another three veterans have already retired, and two probationary employees were also let go. They tried to petition for their jobs back to no avail. Do you think the petitions will hold any weight? Because I know there really aren't rules in place for this. It's worth a shot. The five men recommended for firing will also try to appeal the decision. There's no place for that anywhere um, in any employment um, relationship, anywhere. Though political pressure against the firefighters in question has mounted since the allegations broke. Their terrible decision it has put a stain on the, on the hardworking men and women of those who, who fight fires on behalf of the city of Milwaukee. So what happens now? Well, the fate of these men is in the fire chief's hands. I'm told two firefighters will take those five-day suspensions and move on. The five facing firing will appeal to the chief and potentially to the city's fire and police commission. Though Mike and Carol, I'm told overturning a decision on hiring is extremely rare. Yeah, that doesn't happen often. Thank you very much, Cody. Morning.